Hi guys. Hi babies. <coughs> Hi guys. Oh, oh, oh. oh yes. Hey Lucky, Lucky. Look at you guys. Lucky. If you didn't have ringworms, we wouldn't be able yeah. to found it. So we'll document this for the next six weeks, huh? Yeah. Hi guys. Okay, these kittens were found in a garbage can. And presumably whoever found them took them to Loomis Basin. And Loomis Basin diagnosed them with the ring. Um, yeah. You can see they're totally covered in ringworm. Oh, look um, at the back of its leg, too. This one. Look at all this. They were. Poor baby. Let's go back. Oops, let me get that in. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Let me get a close up on that. Completely treatable, but. Yes, completely treatable, but is takes a long time to treat. Yeah. And um, takes a lot of long time. It basically takes a long time to treat, and most shelters, because they don't have the resources um, in pl in staff or the place to keep them, to keep them isolated, will euthanize them. And um, these kittens were actually um, picked up by Placer County Animal Services today, and um, were would have been euthanized. Um, um, because they don't have the resources to treat them. But um, they asked Field Haven, Loomis Basin, and, and PCAS last Field Haven to step in so that these babies wouldn't need to be euthanized. So here they are now at Field Haven. Um, they're kind of a bit of a mess. They're covered in feces and the ringworms. The next thing we're going to do is um, do you want to first? we're going to give them a dip. So hang tight. We'll be back doing the dip here in a little bit. Actually, I want to get a close-up of these. I think we can put this out on Facebook that we need help with them. So these guys are actually, they're playing. They're, they're so somewhat healthy compared, considering the, their condition. Um, they're both boys. And we can tell them apart because one of them is a... Classic tabby. Scout, can you put that one yeah. down here? You can this see the guy, difference. Yeah. This guy is a classic tabby. Notice the classic wide stripes. Mm -hmm. And this is a mackerel tabby where the, he's got the... Uh, here, put the light on. This one's got the <laughs> skinnier stripes. They're purring. They're pretty happy here. So this one has the skinny stripes of the mackerel tabby. This one is the classic tabby. And you can see the wide stripe <laughs> down his back. So ringworm is a very, very treatable disease. It's, very, it's a fungus. It's nothing to do with worms. Um, it is commonly mistaken as a worm, but it is not. It's just a fungus. So many of you, have, if you ever had athlete's foot, if you have, that's what it is. That's what ringworm is. It just happens to be on all parts of the body. Cats, just because of the, um, their, their hair, um, are particularly susceptible to ringworm. Ringworm is in the dirt all around us. It's not um, really... You can get it just by being outside. Um, these guys have a pretty darn bad case of it, but it's very treatable. It's just going to take time to treat them. As you can see, these guys are very active. Um, their body condition scores are very good, so they're not underweight or undernourished. They're pretty dirty right now, so we're going to clean them up. But um, the ringworm just doesn't really seem to be bothering them. It's pretty ugly, and it is very contagious, so we That's will have to be careful. Um, about keeping them away from other cats, um, but definitely a very, very treatable disease, not something that um, they need to be euthanized for. So you guys ready for a bath now? Oh, no, he's not going to do it again. There you go. Uh-oh, uh-oh, looks in there. It's bath time. Uh-oh, yep, we're going to go in there and get a bath next. Yep, we are. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, jump. Okay, time for bath. So here we have them with the, we have the antifungal shampoo first is what we're going to do and getting all the, the worst of the, um, the, the dead skin, dirt, feces, poop that's all warm over towel. them. Get that off. We're bringing in warm towels to get them warmed up because they're just shivering now. They're kind of scared. Oh, look at you guys all. Look at those little faces. So, we've got a, um, 
We'll be consulting with our veterinarian to find out exactly what kind of treatment should we should be doing for these kittens other than the, the standard lime dip, which has such a great odor. <laughs> I know, look at their faces. you're doing a lovely massage. I know, they're getting a massage. They're getting a spa treatment. Yeah. We get some fleas here. Oh, a little, couple fleas? Okay. Yeah. Didn't see that. They're all, racing, they're all racing for the head. The head? There's, okay. Yeah. They're racing for they the head because it's dry. Comb. Yeah. Comb they out here. Comb, please. All right. Thank you. I folded this one. You want it in there? Or here? Oh, Thank you, Brenda. All right, where do you want me to take okay. this? Uh, Watch out, Junior. Come yeah. back here. Yeah. Come back. Awesome. Look at this face. This guy's most of his hair is gone on his face. And we just noticed that, look, his whiskers on the left side are all gone, too. So this guy's going to be a little bald. To get the, he's going to have the sphinx cat look for a little mm -hmm. while here. Oh. Looking all that stuff off. It's going to be a better day tomorrow, little kitties. Mm -hmm. It sure will. Hot towel treatment coming up. I'm bundling you up in the hot towel from the towel warmer. Oh, does that feel good? Rubby, that rubby. Mama feels like mama. Yeah. Mama licking you. Hope nice your bro's still warm. getting washed over here. He's still getting rinsed off. Yeah, the other one's quite a little bit worse than him. Yeah. That's the second tub of water. That's, That's how good. dirty it was. Look at you. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Now our towel warmer is a real lifesaver. Feature comforts, huh? So, Scout, what's the next step after this? So after this, they'll start. They'll have baths every um, every, every other day, and um, depending upon what our veterinarian says, they may be treated with an antifungal. It's kind of hard on kittens um, to have an antifungal, but this is a pretty serious case, um, so they may need they may need the antifungal to help them. What Scout's doing there is picking off some extra fleas we found. These guys did have quite a few fleas, too. So we're picking off all the fleas. So we don't really want to give them... Um, probably don't want to give them front line at this point, do we? I wouldn't, no. No, so we're just going to get the fleas off. No, And since you're going to have a bath every couple days, we'll certainly keep those fleas off. Okay, I'm still. ready for a warm towel. We need a warm towel over yeah, here. Yeah, my oh. little Yoda kitty looks like spa he's towel, ready for a spa on. towel. Spa towel, there's coming out of this, yeah. coming out of the hot towel warmer. Hot towels coming hot out. Hot towels. Hot towels. There we go. I don't want to bring the fleas into the towel. So they've got little pot bellies, and first you might think, ooh, they're nice and fat, but they're probably wormy bellies, so we're going to... But he's got some go. parasites going on there, so we'll give him some worm medicine, oh. too. Oh. Well, look at these kitties. Oh, I want a massage like that. <laughs> Can you imagine if you could go for a massage and the, their hands were so big of the masseuse that they surrounded you completely? Wow. Giant. Lots of tails. Lots of worm tails. This guy seems to enjoy everything we do. Oh, I mean, look at him. He's just like... Skin must just itch like Yeah, can imagine. So we um, went to, to see what, if they were boys or girls, but they were all so full of poop and stuff, it was hard to tell. And we just made the assumption that they were boys because mm, probably at least 80% of orange tabbies are boys. And guess what? We've got girls. So these are two little rare sisters here. The girls, the ringworm girls, the ringworm <laughs> sisters. Little purrs, little happy kitties. Happy kitties, all toasty. Now it's time for a snack. We get spa food, Field Haven spa food. What are we serving up there today? A little bit of kitten food. Little, little kitten. Kitten feast. What flavor do we got? We have chicken feast. Chicken feast. Yay, yum. Oh, we're both eating now good. The little one there is 
The little classic tabby is a little bit unsure, but she's starting to chow down. The other one has no problem digging right in. She knows she's hungry. And there we it's go. It's good stuff. Oh, there we go. Good, good. Yum, yum. Mmm. That's a chicken feast popsicle. This one continues to purr while she's eating. Yes, yes she is. We purr while we eat. Come on, honey. Oh, that's, she just, she's just a little princess. She wants to be hand fed. So now that we're going to do a little spray, antifungal spray, on all the lesions. Actually, this poor little one took mostly really all her whole body. Bad. She's got pretty bad. So get it on there. Yeah, on her side there. Her belly's pretty bad. She's got the... <laughs> there we go. A little bit there, and then we'll just put it on a 3x3 three three to put it on her head. And she's got it pretty bad down into her ears as well. That's pretty unusual, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, she's... Mm -hmm. There we go. And then her sister over here, who's not quite as bad, we can spray a little as well. There we go. Somebody's Back into their warm towels where they're... Little cozy purr. towels. They're cozy. And then we're going to set them up in a nice warm little <laughs> condo. <laughs> we have to go outside the shelter, though keep them away from the other kitties so we have a nice place for them to go until we find a foster home. It's okay. They definitely need a foster home. She's just burrowing. She's just burrowing. Oh, I'm so, I feel so much better. I feel so much better. Oh. Oh, you're sleeping. Wants to feel warm Aww. hand. I want to feel a warm hand to touch her. Yeah, want your sissy? Could you let your sister?